had extensive neck surgery. My third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh vertebrae has been fused together. And I went, it got, I got in massive pain after it was over. It was paralyzing me before I had it. And it felt like billions of needles shooting from my feet out through my head. And that's when they decided they better do the surgery on me. The surgery went wonderful. I hugged my doctor and I thanked him for letting God guide his hands on me because he had never seen a neck like mine. But after a while, I became in agony pain again. And I had thought maybe my back was messing up further down and it was still gonna end up paralyzing me. So I went back and I had $4,000 worth of MRIs and stuff run on my upper neck and my lower neck to find out that arthritis had set up in my neck. But since my surgery, I have not ever been able to look up past my head right now. And only to a certain distance to the sides. And last night sitting there, I didn't want to get up because I don't like to get up in front of crowds. But the more I didn't move, the more my neck hurt me. And I said, okay, God, I'll get up. I haven't heard any today. Hallelujah! Yeah. And I can move my head this far. Hallelujah. And that's the farthest I've been able to move it in four years, I guess. My head's never went up past this distance, just straight on. I can't look up like on a bandstand or anything. If I sit up close, I can't sit up close. I have to sit way back so you don't have to tilt your head. And I can lift my head this far today.
Amen. Mary says, well, I'm too young to have a baby. Martha said, I'm too old to have a baby. But God has put, a, God has put you on this earth with a purpose. Jeremiah uh, chapter 1, God says in His Word, I knew you before you were ever born, and I called you by name. Amen. And then Scripture says, I saw you squirming in your substance, and I called you forth. You live. He said, live. And He named us. He said, I saw you before you were ever in your mother's loins. Amen. You're here on this earth. Not, you're not an accident. Yeah. You're not a, a machine. You're not an accident. God has brought you here with purpose.